How does 7.5 million tons of cod travel from icy waters to markets across the world each year? Have you ever wondered about the system behind your fish fillet? Off the icy coasts of Norway, Canada and Russia, vast shoals of cod have sustained communities for centuries. These waters, famed for their abundance, have shaped the economies of fishing villages and industrial fleets alike. The annual harvest reaches staggering volumes, with fleets deploying hundreds of vessels that operate in sometimes treacherous conditions year-round. The process begins when the cold, nutrient-rich currents bring abundant fish to these fishing grounds. Small boats once caught fish with simple nets, but demand led to larger vessels and more sophisticated catching methods. Today's fleets employ high-tech sonar systems that detect schools of fish hiding beneath the ocean surface, enabling precise targeting of dense shoals, reducing wasted effort and increasing catch efficiency. For each vessel, speed and timing are critical to maintaining the quality of the catch. The fish are caught in nets that are hauled aboard swiftly to prevent damage and spoilage. Once on deck, fish are transferred to processing units or storage holds, cooled to near-freezing temperatures. But the challenge of handling such large quantities in often often rough seas is far from straightforward. The crews work tirelessly, knowing that delays can compromise the freshness of the catch. Storage facilities on vessels are equipped with advanced refrigeration systems, maintaining temperatures close to 20 degrees Celsius, where fish can stay in top condition for days, even weeks if necessary. As the catch is accumulated, the next step involves rapid movement to port facilities, sometimes hundreds of miles away, where fish are sorted and processed. This transition marks the beginning of a vast chain that extends far beyond the wa water's edge. Coastal ports are where the raw harvest begins its transformation into market-ready product. Massive cranes lift crates of fish from ships, depositing them onto trucks or into specialized storage warehouses. These facilities are often fitted with automated conveyor systems and sorting lines, which rapidly process hundreds of tons per day. The shipping process is carefully timed. Delays at this stage can lead to spoilage, so synchronized schedules between fishing fleets, processors and logistics companies are maintained with precision. Refrigerated trucks, fitted with sealed temperature-controlled containers, then carry the fish from ports to processing plants, sometimes spanning hundreds of miles. These trucks run on powerful engines capable of maintaining temperatures as low as 25 degrees, ensuring the fish do not thaw during transit. Some regions have adopted GPS tracking systems that relay real-time data about temperature, position, and speed, allowing operations managers to intervene immediately if problems arise. During transit, the cold chain must remain unbroken, each link in the chain designed to preserve the quality of the fish from the moment it is caught to the moment it arrives at processing centers. In the processing facilities, fish are cleaned, filleted, and portioned. Modern factories utilize automated machinery that can process thousands of pounds in minutes, ensuring uniformity and minimizing human error. Large-scale freezing equipment then locks in freshness by swiftly cooling the fish to 60 degrees in vacuum-sealed packs or fillets. These products are packed into insulated containers designed to withstand long ocean voyages. Ocean-going cargo ships, with their massive, climate-controlled holds, then set out across the seas. These vessels are designed specifically for transporting perishable products. With refrigeration systems that maintain steady low temperatures and insulation that prevents heat transfer, the ships cruise efficiently at speeds around 20 knots, with onboard sensors continuously monitoring temperature and humidity to safeguard the quality of their cargo. Once the ships reach ports in producing countries, the process proceeds anew, unloading, inspection, storage, and local distribution. Each step is carefully managed to ensure freshness and safety. This system relies on a combination of human expertise and technological tools, automated cranes, temperature sensors, and scheduling software that keep the entire operation flowing smoothly. Behind every shipment of frozen cod, Millions of dollars are at stake. 
the industry's growth has led to an array of specialized ships and port facilities, all aimed at reducing delays and losses. This demanding cycle is a testament to the scale and precision required to sustain such high-volume exports year after year, shaping a quiet yet unrelenting push that keeps fish on plates worldwide. Once the catch is secured on deck, it begins another phase marked by rapid processing and meticulous handling. Modern fleets deploy a combination of mechanized systems and skilled workers to accelerate the conversion of raw fish into market-ready products. Heavy-duty filleting machines, capable of processing thousands of pounds in a matter of minutes, trim the fish with precision, dividing it into fillers and portions suited for various markets. These machines not only speed up processing, but also maintain uniformity, reducing waste and enhancing quality control. After filleting, the fish are immediately moved into blast freezers or vacuum sealing chambers, where temperatures plummet to 60 dirn within minutes. This swift freezing process locks in the freshness and preserves the texture, preventing the formation of ice crystals that could damage the flesh during long shipments. Processing plants are often located near the ports, allowing a seamless transition from ship to factory. Inside these large facilities, workers and automated lines work in harmony. Robotic arms and conveyor belts transport and sort the fish, while sensors ensure the right temperature and hygiene standards are maintained. The use of advanced weighing systems guarantees each pack is accurately labeled with weight, origin, and harvest date, providing traceability for consumers and regulators alike. Many facilities have adopted eco-friendly practices, such as recycling water used in processing and repurposing waste for other purposes, demonstrating an awareness of environmental impact even in large-scale operations. Once packed, the product is stored in refrigerated warehouses, where climate control systems maintain consistent temperatures that prevent thawing or degradation. These warehouses often employ real-time monitoring tools that continuously check humidity, temperature and security. From here, transportation routes are carefully planned using sophisticated logistics software. This software calculates optimal routes, considering traffic, weather conditions and port schedules, reducing delays and ensuring the cold chain remains unbroken. The trucks used for transport are specially designed for perishable goods, equipped with insulated containers and powered by refrigeration units some of which are fitted with GPS and remote temperature sensors that provide continuous feedback to central control rooms. The trucks set out with a carefully coordinated timetable, sometimes within a few hours of processing, to carry the fish to regional distribution hubs or directly to shipping ports. These refrigerated vehicles journey across vast distances, maintaining sub-zero temperatures during transit at all times. The coordinated effort involves multiple players, transport companies, port authorities, and cold storage facilities that communicate via digital platforms. As the trucks arrive at ports, cranes lift the large refrigerated containers onto ships, which are engineered to sustain low temperatures throughout their ocean crossings. During loading, the process is swift and precise, with automated systems ensuring that each container is sealed checked and recorded. The engines of these ships are designed for efficiency, capable of maintaining steady cruising speeds around 20 knots. On board, sensors continually monitor the environmental conditions with systems adjusting insulation and refrigeration dynamically during the voyage. This constant vigilance minimizes temperature fluctuations, safeguarding the quality of differences in cod that can span thousands of miles across turbulent waters. The ship's crews and onboard engineers work in tandem with port staff to optimize loading sequences, often synchronized through centralized digital scheduling platforms to avoid delays at ports. The ships then set sail for various destinations, European processing facilities, Asian markets, or North American distribution centers, each one fitted with its own climate control systems. These vessels carry vast quantities of fish, structured to maintain a steady cold environment over weeks at sea. The careful design of bulkheads, insulation layers, and temperature sensors ensures the product remains in prime condition during extended voyages. 
The trade in frozen African cod is a logistical ballet, with each link in the chain operating in harmony. These ships are not only feats of engineering, they are mobile climate chambers that keep millions of pounds of fish in pristine condition until finally arriving at port. At their destinations, the unloading process repeats the cycle of precision. Automated cranes and conveyor systems transfer the cargo into cold storage, ready for the next stage of distribution. This entire chain, drawing from high-tech boats, processed and frozen fish, refrigerated trucks, and specialized ships, is maintained through continuous monitoring and tight scheduling. Employing sophisticated tracking systems and remote sensors, operators manage every movement with high accuracy. With every step meticulously coordinated, the entire operation ensures that large quantities of cod are preserved against spoilage-reducing waste and maintaining quality despite the formidable challenges posed by vast distances, harsh weather conditions and the demands of international markets. This ongoing dance of machines, humans and technology sustains the scale needed to deliver millions of tons of fish around the world each year. What might surprise many is the sheer scale of this operation, quietly connecting the icy waters of the North Atlantic with markets across continents. Behind every cast of net and every frozen crate, thousands of workers, machines and ships work in harmony to meet the vast worldwide demand for cold. Each year, around 7.5 million tons of this fish are processed, packed and sent across the globe, forming part of a complex system that operates almost invisibly. The ships and ports are designed to handle these enormous volumes with high-capacity refrigeration units, automated loading systems and advanced tracking devices. The containers they carry withstand long voyages, often stretching over weeks, with climate control systems maintaining consistent low temperatures, ensuring the quality and freshness of the fish. The environmental footprint of this enterprise has driven a wave of eco-conscious measures. Some companies now utilize biodegradable packing materials, reducing reliance on plastics that can harm oceans and landscapes. Ships are being built or retrofitted with energy-efficient engines and fitted with wind turbines to harness renewable power, decreasing emissions in a process that is becoming more common. Ports invest in cleaner energy sources, including solar panels and electric cranes, further reducing the industry's impact on the planet. These steps reflect a growing awareness that the industry s health depends on the health of the environment it draws from. On a broader scale, the story of these millions of tons of cod is also about food safety and transparency. Digital tracking systems and blockchain technology enable complete traceability from fishing vessel to supermarket shelf, reassuring consumers of the product's origin and quality. This activity also provides economic stability for countless communities. Fisheries, processing plants, transport firms and retail outlets all depend on this flow of processed fish. It sustains thousands of jobs, from small family-run fishing boats to large industrial ships, from workers on factory lines to drivers delivering product to markets. Each link in this chain functions with precision, shaped by a need to avoid waste, delay, or spoilage. The software that schedules shipments, the sensors that monitor temperature, and the automated systems that pack or unload fish all work continuously, ensuring that each stage flows smoothly into the next. In the final analysis, what we witness is an unlikely symphony of human effort and technological systems functioning on a vast scale. It is a static picture of an incredible amount of coordination often taken for granted. The simple act of eating a piece of cod or a fish fillet involves a complex network spanning ocean, factory, truck, and port, all designed to preserve the fish's freshness and safety. This unseen infrastructure keeps millions of tons of fish moving across borders and oceans every year, a silent force supporting global food supply chains. The sustainability of this endeavor rests on balancing high productivity with respect for environmental limits, an ongoing challenge faced by the industry. But even in its busiest moments, it serves as a reminder of the interconnected human effort, nurtured through generations, applying machinery science and care. 
to meet a simple universal need, nourishing people with food, harvested from the cold embrace of the sea. The scale is vast, the complexity hidden behind codes and containers, yet the purpose remains rooted in providing nourishment across nations. This seamless system, refined over decades, ensures that when you find a fillet of cod on your plate, it has traveled a route founded on precision and constant vigilance. From the icy waters of the North Atlantic to the refrigerated aisles of markets worldwide, each link functions reliably, quietly affirming that our food supplies depend on more than just the catch, depend on a network of technology, expertise, and human effort dedicated to maintaining quality and connection across continents. It's a system built on checks, balances, and continuous effort, ensuring that the many tons of cod harvested each year become part of countless meals, unceasingly supporting the world's appetite for this humble yet vital fish. From icy waters to markets worldwide, the complex system behind cod exports keeps fresh fish accessible, driven by technology, teamwork, and careful planning.